Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is November 15th, 2024, and we're diving into the latest developments in the world of Apple technology. From innovative security features to intriguing financial results, and even some creative hacks, we've got a lot to cover. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Apple has introduced a new security feature in iOS 18 called Inactivity Reboot. This feature automatically reboots iPhones if they remain unlocked for 72 hours, enhancing security by locking the user's encryption keys within the secure Enclave chip. This makes it more challenging for unauthorized users, including thieves, to access data. The feature has sparked concern among law enforcement, as it complicates data extraction during investigations. Security researcher Jiska Klassen confirmed the reboot timing, demonstrating that the phone resets after three days of inactivity. Despite criticism from law enforcement, experts note that the three-day window is still sufficient for professional analysts to coordinate access. Apple's fiscal fourth quarter results, announced on Halloween, showed flat sales despite record revenue. The company experienced a modest 2% growth in fiscal 2024, following a 3% decline the previous year, indicating stabilization after a period of decline. The iPhone remains a significant revenue driver, with a slight increase suggesting a prolonged sales peak. The Mac segment stabilized with $600 million growth, while iPad sales have declined for three consecutive years, though recent releases have sparked slight recovery. The wearables, home, and accessory segment saw its first decline in eight years, while services continue to thrive, expected to surpass $100 billion next year. This analysis highlights the importance of understanding Apple's financial performance across its diverse product lines. Apple has explained the rationale behind the new power button placement on the M4 Mac Mini, now located on the bottom of the device. Apple executives Greg Joswiak and John Turnus discussed how the redesign, making the Mac Mini significantly smaller, necessitated this change. They emphasized the convenience of the new position, allowing users to easily access the button by tucking their fingers underneath. Turnus noted that the power button is rarely used, suggesting Apple encourages users to keep devices in sleep mode rather than shutting them down completely. This strategic move enhances the compactness of the Mac Mini while reflecting changing user habits. OpenAI has updated its native ChatGPT app for macOS, enabling integration with third-party applications like Xcode, VS Code, Terminal, and iTerm2. This feature allows users to interact with ChatGPT directly within these applications, facilitating tasks such as reading on-screen content and providing code suggestions. The integration is available to ChatGPT Plus and team subscribers, with plans to extend access to enterprise and education users. Users have control over which apps ChatGPT can access, ensuring privacy. This update comes alongside Apple's beta release of macOS 15.2, which includes its own ChatGPT integration for Siri. In a surprising shift in the tech landscape, IBM is now seen as the underdog against Apple's corporate dominance. The author reflects on a 1983 photo symbolizing this reversal, where IBM is viewed as the rebel challenging Apple's control. The author uses Fedora Linux, highlighting the contrast between open source innovation and Apple's closed ecosystem. As of November 11, 2024, Apple's market valuation is 17 times that of IBM, illustrating its significant corporate power. The narrative reflects a broader commentary on the evolution of technology companies and their influence on users and developers. Three technologists in India, Rithwik Jayasimha, Arnav Bansal, and Rithvik Vibhu, successfully hacked Apple AirPods Pro 2 to enable hearing aid features for their grandmothers, despite these features being unavailable in India. They used a homemade Faraday cage to block signals revealing their true location, tricking the AirPods into thinking they were in a country where the features were available. Their hack not only provided a temporary solution for their grandmothers, but also highlighted the potential for technology to be adapted for accessibility in regions where it is otherwise restricted. The Eyeball widget is a new iPhone application designed for sharing links directly to friends' home screens without notifications or algorithms. Developed by indie creator Kabir Chiba, the app emphasizes user privacy 
and is compatible with iPhones running iOS 16.0 or later. It allows users to customize the widget and create more than five channels with a subscription fee. The app is available for free with additional information accessible through the developer's website and privacy policy. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of Apple's latest innovations and intriguing stories. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of Apple technology. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.